What's cracking, everybody? Zerafel Rose here. Welcome back to the weekly meta forecast. And in this particular week coming up, there's a 100% chance of Ultra League and 100% chance of you winning because you watched this video and got the top five teams for this next cup. So, what's up? Your anchor man. Or is it anchor man? I don't know. Weatherman? Is it the anchor man? Weatherman. Weatherman, I don't know news stuff, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, news anchor. News anchor, that's well, what that's I'm thinking if of. you're standing at the desk, if you're at the desk. Oh, okay. See, she knows, she knows better than I do. I'm the weatherman today. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the best teams for the Weather Cup. Quick overview of this meta. Um, so just real quick, it's not, I mean, it's kind of it's kind of different, I guess, from last time. It's not going to be super different. The wing attack buff really didn't do much. But Jellicent, goodness gracious, Jellicent is going to be ridiculous and everywhere in this meta, so be ready for it. Uh, Cordelli still stands up top at number one, but Jellicent has ascended all the way from, like, zero to hero status real quick. That surf update did it real good, and Jellicent is going to be a linchpin of a lot of teams to help kind of coherent uh, and make them all cohesive, I should say, not coherent. Um, but you're going to have things like XL Ludicolo and then XL Lantern, and then we're going to go down and see, you know, Shadow, Obama, Stone, Swampert. Kyurem number eight is really cool because I like when seeing uh, when we see legendaries like Kyurem and, and like Reshiram and Zekrom in Ultra League. Now, um, some of you who are playing the Justicar Self meta, you have a Kyurem probably built already if you've been talking to me. This thing is really smart. Pick, and I think that Regice is also going to be another pick that you would Justicar people are going to have. Keldeo? Who's got Keldeo? I don't got Keldeo. I don't have that built. I don't know if I'm going to. But anyway, um, for the most part, though, uh, a lot of the same stuff from last time is going to do just fine. You just have to add the uh, Jellicent as part of your uh, things to be aware of. So let's take a look at team number one here. We've got Jellicent, Abomasnow, Cradilly. It's going to be Jellicent, Double Grass, with both of those grass types doing their job of luring out a Blaziken or... Maybe some other ice type, like Alolan Ninetales, perhaps, or uh, Alolan Sand Slash. So, really good coverage on the meta, really strong grades here in PV Poke. Really um, kind of weak to Obama Snow, to be honest. Obama Snow does beat Cradilly, because um, I don't think Cradilly's Stone Edge does enough in Ultra League to actually like one shot like it does in Great League. So, um, there are a couple of things that will tear apart this team, but they're not going to be super common, or at least some you can play around them for the most part, as far as I know. Uh, Kyurem could probably decimate this team, um, especially if it correctly shields Stone Edge from the uh, Cradilly. And the weather balls and ice damage only does neutral from Obama Snow. So um, Sand Slash could do well here, but it only really beats the backline. Jellicent still does technically win that matchup. Um, Obama Snow, like we said, Reg Ice could core break as well. Uh, as it has Thunder, it's going to be able to do a lot of damage to Jellicent. And I think it has to have Blizzard in order to beat Obama Snow. Um, I don't know if it beats Cradilly with Earthquake and Thunder. So, depending on what moveset you have in your Reg Ice, that might be big. You might want to put Blizzard on it probably for this meta. The ice damage is kind of good. Um, uh, Probo Pass, uh, yeah, okay. I'm not going to see any Probo Pass here. Um, otherwise, everything else for the most part, you know, Kingdra is kind of neutral across the board here. You have play with it against everything, but it does beat a couple things in the ones. And then Felicipod, Coragonal, you're not going to see those. Arcanine, you're not going to see that. So, uh, for the most part, the things that do kind of beat the team on paper, you've got neutral play into most of them. Um, and the other things that you that do like do well against the team, you're not going to see a lot of. I can guarantee you, you're going to see very few Kyrams. I, I don't, I don't see it coming as something you're going to see a lot of. I promise. So. Um, Looking at team number two here, getting slow on the draw in my old age here. We've got a ABA water, but double dragon team. So able to kind of catch things in the front and the back. The only thing that this team might have uh, alignment issues with is if they somehow um, gets a Blaziken aligned to the Kira, which even still is really not that bad considering how quickly it gets to Dragon Claw with Dragon Breath. You're good. You're chilling. So the coverage on this meta, um, Alolan Sand Slash is probably the number one thing to look out for. Now, I put Tentacruel here because it's one of the strongest counters to Tapu Fini on the planet. But you could put whatever you want there as long as it beats Tapu Fini. You could put, like, Cradilly if you want. I probably wouldn't put Cradilly. Uh, but you could put, you know, an, a Tapu Fini of your own. You could put a, you could put several things. As, you just need to make sure that whatever's in the lead beats Tapu Fini because you have Double Dragon in the back, right? But other than that, um, I guess some things will beat the team, I guess. Slow Bro, uh, Slow King, you got Aurorus could beat this team pretty handily. 
Alolan Sand Slash is not too comfy here. And then um, if you see a Mr. Rhyme, you let me know because I don't think where I, I don't I don't think so. And Naya Lego, if you ever do see one, I guess somehow beats Tentacruel despite being part rock. I don't know. I have to look at that one. That's a weird one. But um, for the most part, everything else that core breaks the team here, you're not going to see. No Probo Passes, no Agrons, no Caracostas. If you see them, it'll be the only one you see all week, I promise. So <laughs> that's going to be it. But this team, basically, you function as... I guess you would probably want to safe swap your Kingdra here. Um, you could safe swap the Kyurem, but you do really risk getting a Blaziken drawn upon it, which would be really bad. But aside from that, it's a pretty standard ABB lane. Draw Tapu Fini. Um, probably draw out Tapu Fini. Goodness gracious, both of those are bad in the Tapu Fini. But you just get a massive, massive farm with Tentacruel. So I guess it is, I guess it is whatever it is, I guess, right? But that's the gist of the team strategy anyway. So team number three, God, my mouse is messed up today or something. It's not going as fast as it's supposed to go. There we go. Uh, Alolan Sand Slash Double Water. So Alolan Sand Slash last time rose as one of the hidden gems of the Weather Cup. And so putting it behind Jellicent and Kingdra allows you to have flexibility because you're covering the main fire weakness and even most of the fighting weakness with Jellicent specifically. But Kingdra can rip through a Blaziken in no time as well. So if you do lose the lead for some reason. But Alolan Sand Slash does a wonderful amount of things. Now the only thing I think here that I would be wary of with the Kingdra, and maybe this is caused to put maybe like Tentacruel in the back or something is Tapu Fini. That Tapu Fini would probably rip through um, the Sand Slash because you have to hit with Bulldoze and you can't really swap in your Kingdra against the Tapu Fini. So in hindsight, yeah, maybe we can change the Kingdra out to something else. But Kingdra is just so good in the Weather Cup in general. Um, the only thing that would have kept me from turning that into a Tentacruel is just the fact that this team is not going to be able to deal with Swampert as easily that way. But Regardless of Swampert or not, uh, the threatening things on this team, there are a lot of things that appear to core break, but they're not as common, right? Tapu Fini, we talked about Regice Secure. You're not going to see a lot of Keldeo. I doubt you'll see one at all. Um, and then beating something on the lead and losing to it in the back is fine. It's okay to lose to Obama Snow in the back if you beat it in the lead. And then you've got like Barbarical, Terrakion, Pseudo Wudo, Wall Ring, you might actually see. Uh, Typhlosion, you might see. Cronaut, no. Crustle, maybe. Uh, Blaziken, you'll definitely see some of those somewhere. Charizard, probably going to see him, even though they're not as great in this cup. And then after that, you'll Weavile. You're not going to... Yeah, that stuff. most of the stuff is not going to see. But you can change this up. I definitely think that Kingdra is going to be probably something that we change out. I just didn't want to keep using the same two or three water types in every single team. So, sue me. Do some work. You figure it out. You're smart people. You watch this channel. I know you're smart people. Let's take a look at team number four. So we've got Cradilly double water in this one, but we've got Cradilly double hardest absolute answers to Blaziken on the face of the earth in Tapu Fini and Tentacruel. So Cradilly is just like the strongest thing in this meta because it hits the entire meta, no matter what's in it, for neutral or better damage. You can hit it for super effective or neutral damage with the entire moveset of Cradilly, regardless of what is against. So that makes it a really strong thing to have on a team if you've got one. Um, the only thing that I could really see you struggling with here is an Obama Snow, to be honest. And look at the coverage. Like, you've got coverage on so much stuff. Now, Tentacruel is not exactly an easy thing. You have to kind of stay in with the uh, Cradilly here. And you probably have to get it low enough to the point where your Tapu Fini could, like, surf it. Which is, like, really low. So, you can be careful-ish with that. Um, but as far as everything else, you know, you beat Jellicent Lantern... Sand Slash, I guess, yeah, that would be that would be a bit of a pain. Uh, but most people who don't specialize in Ultra League probably don't have one. And uh, Reg Ice, is, you're going to beat that in the lead because you've got the Cradilly. And hopefully, I imagine that Cradilly, that, that whole matchup plays out such that it probably KOs with a Stone Edge or two before Reg Ice gets to Blizzard. Unless Reg Ice just isn't running. It's running Blizzard and Thunder. So, huh. Blizzard doesn't KO the Cradilly for what it's worth to you. It doesn't. It doesn't KO. That's interesting information. I did not know that until just now. So it's a it's just it's a very, very narrow win. But anyway, um I mean it's Ultra League at this point. There's not really gonna be very many perfect teams. 
I'm sure that a couple will emerge, but upon my first look at the meta, these are some of the strongest teams with what I remember from last time. So um, having just two things that just beat the pants off of the Blaziken to cover the Cradilly, I think is just a really strong uh, way to go. But again, just like any of these other teams here, you could make the swap, you could take out the um, Tapu Fini and you could put in something else. You could put in your freaking Keldeo or an XL Seeking if you want to deal with Obama Snows and whatnot, to, to be able to deal with Sand Slash because drill runs and, and whatnot will hurt. Or you could just go completely balanced here. You could throw Blaziken in if you wanted to. Um, I neglected to throw Blaziken in any of these teams because I could not find a good team around it that really let it shine, but I know that one will exist, and it will happen. And that's okay. But looking at team number five, we've got a slightly different team here. Again, most of the same stuff. The teams that I'm making are going to center around number one and number two in the meta, which surely shouldn't surprise you because the Cradilly, Jealous, and Core is ridiculously good. Um, but at this team, we're looking at Jellicent with Aurorus and Cradilly. So we've got double rock on this team. Um, really strong coverage on the meta. If you've gotten Aurorus, if you're part of my Discord group, which if you're not, you should be. Join the patron Discord. Link in the description. Greatest group of people on the planet to play with battles. To play with battles. Goodness, what am I talking? English is not good with me, apparently. Speaking like a five-year-old. If you want to join the greatest community in the entire sphere of Go Battle League, join mine because it is the best. I will not even, I'm not even, I'm tooting my own horn for a reason. It's got the greatest group of people in there. We're all looking to get better together and play the game and help each other get to legend or whatever our goal is for the season or just have fun. And it's got, you know, a really great tight knit community that. You could easily just slot right in because everyone in there is so welcoming. I swear, every time someone joins, you get like a 20-person welcome wagon. It's great. Um, and then if you're looking to get coaching, I'm on Metify. So both of those things you can find in the description of this video for links. And um, so yeah, Aurorus is disgustingly strong in Ultra League. It's got so much bulk, even though it's got a double weakness to fighting, which there are very few of in this meta, which is great. And you should know, as well as I do by now, that Meteor Beam Aurorus just goes off and there's nothing that you know anyone can do about it if they're not ready for it. So, And this is the kind of meta where someone might not be ready for it. Tenacruel does not do well against Aurorus for what it's worth. Um, and this team beats, you know, has coverage against the entire meta. And I like this team. I think it's a really interesting team. Um, because you're still baiting out that Blaziken and getting rid of it with the Jellicent, and then your Aurorus hopefully just goes off, because Ice and Rock is really strong. And with that being said, yo, I'll leave you with this. I think this team is probably going to be one of the better ones. So you're not going to have to deal with, probably, hopefully, too many XL Lanterns, too many Ludicolos, too many Kurems, too many Probo Passes or Obama Snows or Kingdras. And you're probably not going to see any Rotom Washes or Cryogonals. And if you do, let me know. I'd like to get in person in contact with those people in Shoutcast. But anyway, 13 minutes is 3 minutes too long. I've got to cut it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great Weather Cup. Or if you're playing Great League, I hope you don't get rps all week. Because I haven't touched Great League and I won't touch it entirely all season. If I don't have to. So, um, I'm enjoying the little cup. Or the little... The limited cups. I'm enjoying not being in Great League because every time I try it, I get RPS and I don't like it. So, I'll leave it there. Let me know in the comments how your Weather Cup has been or will go. What are you planning on running? What are you not planning on running? I'm just going to end the video. All right, y'all have a great week. I'll talk to y'all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.